Hello, this is part 3 of our Math Magic series. We have tried to arrange the difficulty level of the magic tricks. Part 1 was slightly easy. Part 2 was, wow, that's magic. Part 3 is, my god, this is really magic and how do you do that? So we have tried to arrange it in the incremental order and I hope you try this out with people around you and enjoy. So now this trick is about, I have got a grid which is a 4 by 4 grid which has got 16 of these squares. You will ask the audience to say that give me any number from say 22 to 99. Give me any number, a random number. So let's assume that the audience say okay uh, 49. I'm, I mean there's nobody around here but you can ask them for any random number and this works for all the numbers whatever they choose between 22 to 99. So let's assume it's 49 since I said 49. So I'm going to write 49 here on top. Can you see that? I've written 49. So now what I'm going to do is the trick where I'm going to fill in these squares with numbers such that when you add all these numbers across, you will get 49, which is what is the chosen number. You will add any of the rows or any of the columns, you will get 49. Not only that, if you add the diagonals, you will get 49. Not only that, there's much more. Take up any of these squares here, you add them, you will get 49. Again, a further step ahead. If you add up these two to the sum of these two, you will get the number that they have chosen, which is 49. So this works amazingly and you will do it right in front of them. There is no calculator, you are not going to do it. You just say, give me the number and instantaneously you will write it down. Are we ready? Okay, so now let me fill up these numbers with some random numbers and then show you whether they are actually adding up to 49 or not. Are we ready? Great. Okay, so let me start. Let me place the notebook down below or let me place it here so that you are also able to see it. So let me see. I am filling them with random numbers. Okay, I'm placing it close here so that you can see this and maybe I'll turn it around a little bit to write it so that it becomes easier for me. Let me just fill it up. Remember, I'm going to fill up all the 16 squares. Can you see this? I filled it up with a few of these numbers here. And then I'm going to fill up the remaining ones also. Here I'm filling it up. And then I have something here which I will... Can... Is, is it... Uh, something that you can see? Yes. I filled it up with some of these numbers here and I am going to continue doing it. Is that okay? Are you able to see? Yes. I have just filled it up with some random numbers here. Great. So you will fill it up with these numbers. Yes, when I say you, I'm going to give you the trick of how you can do it. So you will fill it up with these numbers. And now let's see whether what I said is right or wrong. Remember what's our magic number here? We said 49 is the magic number. So now we're going to see whether row wise when you add it up, whether it comes to 49. So you have the first one which is 29 plus 1 which is 30. 30 plus 12 which is 42, plus 7 is 49. Voila, you got it. Oh, but maybe it's just one row. Let's not be overconfident. Let's look at the next one. So you have 11 plus and 8 is 19. 19 plus, let me take the last one here. 19 plus 2 will be 21. 21 plus 28, yes, it is 49. Yes, 
And if you add up these four numbers here in this square, in this square region, I'm talking about these four numbers here, it will again be 49. Can we check that out? So it is 29 plus 1 is 30. 30 plus 11 is 41 plus 8 is 49. That's amazing. Similarly, check up what about this 4 when I add up this 4. Does it come to 49? I'm just kind of outlining it for you to see the 4 numbers here. 3 plus 31. 3 plus 31 is 34. And then you have 34 plus 6 is 40 plus 9 is 49. So this 4, this 4, this 4, this 4, you add it, it comes to 49. Look at the diagonal. Add it up, it comes to 49. I'm going to leave it to you to add it up across. And similarly, I told you one more thing. When I add up these two numbers, for example, 30 plus 5 is 35. And when I add up these two numbers, which is 12 and 2 is 14. So you have a 35 plus a 14 again gives you a 49. So you add up row wise, you add up column wise, you add up diagonals, you add up the squares. You will get 49 and similarly when you add up these and these or these and these, you will get 49. This is an amazing trick and everybody will say, oh my God, this is an expert in math who is doing this trick. Want to know the trick? Let's see the trick. But pause the video, make sure that you find out that all the additions of whatever we mentioned is 49. Go with the conviction and then say, oh wow, yes it is. Now what's the trick? And I need to play this with my audience. Let, it, let me understand this. The trick is extremely simple. You just have to remember that whatever be the number which is written there, you will always, always certain things are fixed in those particular rows and columns. And I'm going to tell you what it is. You will make sure that you have the sum of 9 written in all 4 of these columns here in this way. So these are going to be fixed. So you'll have a 5 and a 4 which comes to 9. 1 and an 8 which comes to 9. And then you have a 3 and a 6 which is 9 again. And a 7 and a 2 which is 9. So remember you have used up all the numbers from 1 to 8. So you will have the next number which is 9. So it's not that you are going to use the consecutive numbers always but to a certain point. So once you have done that step 1 is writing these numbers. So step 1 is done. Step 2. This is a 3 step process. Step 2. So now you have finished number still 8 I said. So now you will come down to the last square here and write 9 here and then you will come to the next one which is here as a blank it will be there. So you will write 10 there then come up to the next blank which is 11 next blank which is 12. So you finished till 12. This done what you need to do is the step 3 is whatever is the number that the audience have given you have to subtract 20. It's always 20 in material of whether they've chosen 49 or 54 or 63 or 72, whatever be the number. So remember the numbers that they're going to be choosing is between 22 to 29, sorry, 22 to 99. Please remember that, okay? So now 49 minus 20, step 3, I said you have to subtract 20. So 49 minus 20 is nothing but 29. Whatever that number is, please write that number here. And then go down below, which is the next block here in this particular one, which is empty, is 30. The next one, which is empty, is 31 in the next row above. And there is just one more blank, which is empty here. That last blank will have one number less than 29 or whatever number you have written here. One number less than that. So what I generally do is I will do 49 minus 20 mentally and say okay it's 29. Then I do one number less in the next row. Then I jump okay yes it is 30 and then I go on to 31 and fill it up. If you do this you will find that that particular row addition of those numbers or the column addition will always give you that magic number that the audience have chosen. Floor your audience. 
they will be amazed. See, okay, yes, okay, I've done it once. Maybe you think it's a fluke or maybe, you know, we had a kind of an understanding with that audience member. No, let's try it once again and keep doing that. And of course, when you're writing the numbers, make sure that you don't write five and four in that same order. Just write four here and then seven there so that they don't understand that this is a pattern that you're following. Write out the random numbers, but make sure that these first step numbers are what we have indicated here. This is for your reference. Please have a look at this and try out the three step process and mention in the comments what kind of a feedback you got from your audience. Great way to magic, great way to learn math and love the subject. Thank you so much and make sure that you subscribe to the channel because we're going to be having many more such episodes coming in soon. Thank you.